This fight is getting started before they even make it through the curtain. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Lariat! Great wherewithal on the counter. Implanted by the DDT. seriously get hurt back there pretty sure that's the point saxton they didn't go back there to do any loading just some unloading of vicious offense corey so many things can transpire in a matchup like this what could be that elusive x factor it is mission critical to be adaptable if it's anything goes then use that to your advantage before your opponent does this is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. Kendo stick impact. This doesn't look stable enough to be fighting on. How did scouted? He gets out of the way. Ooh, man! Extremely dangerous situation here. This loading dock is full of metal edges and hard surfaces. One false move, and you could easily get injured bad. Sharp punch. Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. These road cases are not very forgiving. They're definitely not made to fight on. Oh, Boom! Damn. I think they're worried about that right now. He's reminding his competition that they'll... Oh, taking a right to him. No waiting. This isn't an area for matches. It's for cars and emergency vehicles. Get out of there. Oh, Saxton, you're wasting your time. These superstars don't care where this fight takes them. Strike to the bow. I don't see them getting up after that. And with good reason. That brawl had shades of downtown Austin at 2 a.m. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, Johnny Rick. Tensions riding high. Plans on getting things settled in the ring. I can't wait. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. And his opponent from Mesa, Arizona, 
Weighing in at 243 pounds, Ken Lewis. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> The superstar loves a challenge, and he finds himself facing one here tonight. Yeah, he's not afraid to stand up to anyone in this locker room, which sometimes gets him into trouble, but is definitely one of his more admirable traits as a competitor. Never backing down from any challenger, no matter what. But don't overlook his opponent, a superstar who is tired of living in the shadows. Ah, oh. uh, good buster! Oh, kick connects. Measured knee drop. Switches it back around. Left by the turnbuckles. Saw that one coming. Uh-oh. Face first. Look at this. A monkey flip. Nice. Don't do it. Is the attitude of a daredevil the ability to take risk with minimal trepidation no fear absolute reckless abandon chop block turns the tide on their offense Inside cradle. Oh, look at this small package. He's able to beat a two count. Oh, man. He's just getting thrown around out here. Yeah, he's being faced with a lot of adversity right now. Hip toss. No. Nope. Oh. Keep trying. Gets out of it with a well-placed knee to the face. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading, fading. Submission locked in tight, nowhere to go, no escape. And breaks out of the sleeper. Lost the educated hands and feet. He skirts around it. Sky high monkey flip. Oh, can you believe what we are seeing, guys? There's an electricity in the air. Something's about to go either very wrong or very well. From the heavens, big body splash from the top. Seeing right now, no one can. Driven down. Here he goes for the win. One, two, it's over. It's over. All in a nice work. And here's another glance at these superstars in action.
Here is your winner, Ken Luis. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Heavyweight Championship! Six foot four, over 550 pounds. What makes Yokozuna so scary is his ability to use his massive frame or surprising agility to earn the win in any situation. Well, that ability, Corey, has earned Yokozuna victories over all-time greats like Bret the Hitman Hart, the immortal Hulk Hogan, and The Undertaker. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Of course, the title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on, who am I kidding? Of course you did. Introducing the challenger from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yokozuna! And his opponent, from Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 227 pounds, he is the heavyweight champion, Bob Armstrong. The champion thrives in these situations. Pride and heart will be tested. an argument to be made that defending the title is even harder than winning it, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. You've got your name in the history books. Now it's about what kind of legacy you're going to leave. And that comes down to how you respond to your challengers. Oh, no! And he 
sends him into the corner. Running hip attack. What impact. Oh, oh, oh that'll cave your chest in. Boom. Boom, what a kick. Oh. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Hits him with the counter. Like a brick wall running into you. Right to the gut. Hip attack. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Corey, what should be the strategy for the Hall of Famer Yokozuna here tonight? He needs to know his strengths and weaknesses. Yoko ain't gonna be running marathons, but he's very quick and very strong. He needs to weather the storm, get his opponent where he wants him, and then, to put it lightly, squash him like a bump. Yokozuna turning up the intimidation factor. Whoa. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. Two. Oh, the clothesline. Forcefully delivered. That'll turn your lights out. into the corner. Yokozuna gets reversed. Close fist connects. They have them in the corner. Flash. Oh, my God, a close line. Oh, no, 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 no. A big splash! Is it enough? The cover! Kicks out. Obviously still has some fight left. Oh, directly to the body. And Yokozuna is leaving no breathing room here. Yokozuna playing to his strength, downplaying his weaknesses, and his... Here's the pin title on the line! And the ref can't even start the count. How at this point? You don't even stay down long enough for a one count. It's beyond comprehension. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! Oh, my goodness. Keeping him in position. Here it comes. Flash. Face Buster plants him. Oof. From the middle rope, he steers clear of contact. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Oh, flapjack. Gosh, landing face first. And Yokozuna is really putting the pressure on. Yeah, Yokozuna just can't be stopped now. Oh. And again. Great way to wear out your opponent. Yoko says this one's over. Standing. Bonsai drop. We can have a new champion. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Here is your winner. And new heavyweight champion, Yokozuna. And a new chapter in this title's legacy begins here. Honestly, Michael, there is no way I can think to describe this other than absolute goosebumps. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the National Wrestling All-Star World's Heavyweight Championship. And here he comes.
It's a big-time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Commoners of the WWE Universe, it's time to bow to the first real king of WWE. is on a crusade to reconstruct WWE as he sees fit. Race displays incomprehensible brutality and will do anything to keep the crown. Classic rivalries with the likes of Hulk Hogan, Jerry Lawler, and many other legends. The message is simple. Kneel before King Race. Well, not everyone supports the king, and I applaud those who fight this corrupt monarchy. Well, Saxton, anyone who opposes the king has to contend with a vicious brawler who's also a superb technician. Introducing the challenger from Nashville, Tennessee, Weighing in at 267 pounds, Dr. D. David Schultz. And his opponent from Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 253 pounds, he is the National Wrestling All-Star World's Heavyweight Champion, the King of Wrestling. You win this title, you are a top name in this industry. in WWE for sitting back and waiting. This superstar did things on their own terms, and that's why they're the champ. That hard work and determination certainly has paid off for them, Corey, but the challenger has put in that same effort. It'll be a close contest. Oh, Ooh, a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Drop right on point. He's able to sidestep there. Oh, he knew what was coming. Taking their time, and a knee drop to the face. Ooh! Oh, that's how you establish dominance. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. With the reversal! Dropping with a big shoulder tackle.
Looking wobbly in the corner. Knee. The challenger is not in a great place. For all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. At first glance, you might think Harley Race's style is a little too bare bones to hang with today's WWE Corey. What do you think is the best lane for the Hall of Famer to pick here? Well, his style may be basic, Cole, but not ineffective. So Harley needs to get in close and lay in those ham bones and apply those holds. He's always been a smart competitor. He just needs to stay smart. He wants even more out of his opponent. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Harley Race hoisting him up. Taking their time. Oh, he counters right back on Harley. Oh, John back elbow. The champ shoulders are down. He breaks the ref's count after one. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Scoop slam. Oh, look out. Kidding me? What just happened? Uh, I don't know, but I think it just blew the roof off this arena. Hey, it might be time for a change of strategy. His best move didn't get the job done. Counter from Race. And over. Holy <laughs> Race has him hooked with a fisherman suplex. Superb execution. Two. The champion thought that was it. The champion's shock is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. Solid punch. This is what you call high risk, high reward. is worth another look. Here we go. Here is your winner, and still National Wrestling All-Star World's Heavyweight Champion, the King of Wrestling. It's very important match. Oh, oh, no. A blindside attack from this other duo. This could greatly affect the match if we were scheduled to see. Greatly affect the match? Are, are we even going to have a match after that attack? It's a great question, Byron. I mean, the opponents obviously still want to continue, but I'm not sure this team is in any condition to compete. I agree with you, Saxton. I don't know if this is the wisest choice they can make. They're still insisting on having the match. This is nuts. Well, there's no way you can consider this a fair fight anymore. I actually agree with you both. These attackers weren't supposed to be part of the match, but that attack might end up altering the outcome. After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. And you know what? I respect the decision to still go through with this match after an attack like that. I'm not sure whether I think they're brave or foolish, but it does take guts. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Kick to the back.
was trying to make a big splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. Respect is earned, and he's still a dollar short. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. And now gets tossed into the ring. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. Tagged into action. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, on the mark. Paying it right back for the reversal. Now, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. He had it scouted. Reaches his partner for the tag. Just insulting. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. A bear hug squeezing the breath out of him. An extreme amount of pressure in this submission. The bear hug sinks down. This is just vicious. Oh, break his heart. Vicious. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Oh, for the arm bar. Oh. 
Let's look back on the action from the last match. Here are your winners. Well, despite an attack that was intended to prevent this very outcome, we have our winner. Definitely a hard-won victory. It would have been a slightly easier win without that unexpected attack. Well, let's just focus on the positives here. Guy. The following contest is a tables match. Making his way to the ring from Georgia, weighing in at 265 pounds, the masked man, the assassin. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. This match has everyone backstage buzzing. He is an exciting competitor to watch. And his opponent from Florida, weighing in at 226 pounds, Wildcat Kendall Q. Lee. The WWE Universe delivering quite a reaction. Perhaps the most highly anticipated match of the night. He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. Tables match doesn't matter what table you put your opponent through, including our announce table. Don't say that too loud, Corey. I'd prefer to keep our working area clear. Thank you very much. Well, wait a minute. Since when does what we prefer matter to these superstars? Actually, by that was a good point. Bottom line is one way or another, somebody's going through a table tonight. Oh, uh, would you are armbar applied? Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. He fends off the attack. Close line. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Uh. 
He's heading back to the ring. There's some power behind that punch. was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. He's absorbed some damage already. Yeah, Cole, but he's just focused on avoiding going through the table. That's all that matters. Very measured elbow drop. Byron, what could be the deciding factor in a tables match setting? It is all about being able to survive a truly chaotic environment. You need next-level awareness to avoid accidentally losing the match. And some of the biggest upsets in WWE history have occurred in tables matches. I think it might happen again here tonight. The Exploder heading into the corner. Standing drop kick. Great ups. And an impressive amount of offense against him here. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back's being negated. to the outside now. And this match will head back to the ring. Taking it outside the ring now. shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Here is your winner, the masked man, the assassin. Going through the table like that adds salt to the wound of losing. It's never fun to lose, but the added pain of going through a table is insult to injury. Absolutely. That's the kind of win that can catapult you to bigger and better. 
So this is an over-the-top battle royal. The rules are simple. You start with superstars in the ring. You throw them over the ropes to get eliminated. The last one standing wins. Competitor forcing everyone else out. So what would happen when Saxon walks into a ring? section prevents the attack. What a back elbow. Fighting back with a counter. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Uh-oh. Drag. Simple yet effective way to get out of a predicament. Working on the leg. Improving a bit slippery for them there. He's cooking something up. Side. Yeah, but he's always one count. Oh, this could be something. Stop pulling pile driver. Hit that just as hard as his opponent does. Uh, oh, twist to the arm. This cuts into the elbow. Scatter it and fire back with a punch straight to the face. Into that corner. Ooh, man, what a hit. 
He's on his heels a bit now. Turn to the ring. He knows how to avoid contact. Big ball. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Oh, what a shot. Rokita Clutch locked in. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Looks like he has other plans here. Was coming. What a shot. Close up. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Here is your winner, Ron E. Gavin. He really wanted this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. Absolutely. That's the kind of win that can catapult you to bigger and better things.